want to bring to you guys a support commentary. And uh, this is not me playing. This is my friend, and he was kind enough to uh, lend me his VOD. So I'm just going to go through. It's my first time watching it to see uh, if he could have done anything better and the good things he did. So if you guys don't know, this hero is called Mountain Guy. Well, he's kind of like Bastion from Overwatch. So his, uh, his S1 can block uh, projectiles. And um, his S2 is like a flip, like singed. His S3 is like his ult, like uh, knocks everyone back and can block projectiles and he takes less damage. And then his um, passive is he can heal towers. He can go inside towers. So level one, they start off a fight. Mm, in my opinion, this is kind of risky because like you don't see where the enemy jungler is. So he could have been caged in, but I mean, it's all right. The thing you could have done better is flip towards the mid laner so that's just the mechanical issue i mean as he sees that uh it's a blue start i think like here he shouldn't help the jungler he should clear the mid wave again because like like he took the flip level one right so probably can look for a kill or i don't know maybe get this yorn top lane so it's much better than just helping the jungler because the jungler is not going to get ganked after it. So you see that the enemy jungler started blue and gone into red, so nothing's going to happen, right? But anyway, so this is a pretty easy kill because the Yorn is overextended. It's 1 minute 30, so it should be obvious. They didn't even have to use flash. I mean, the Yorn probably knew that the support had flash, so it didn't make a difference anyway. So yeah. So the jungler, enemy jungler is probably coming through this way, right? So have to be careful for that. And he comes here. And um, I don't know. Could have played it better by maybe like standing back and then flipping both. Because it was obvious the jungler was coming, right? The passive pinged on the map. So could have been more patient with S2, but I mean... This is okay as well. Get the kill. It was pretty obvious that they're going to trade one for one. This is nice. But I uh, highly doubt that a kill could have happened. I don't know what that jungler is doing. And for me, I would probably... Buy either the shield, the green shield item this game, or the or the item support item that gives attack speed. But we'll see what he buys. And you can tell this jungle is kind of bad, right? Not really a pri prioritizing the buffs. And here, honestly, should not be helping the jungle. Like you see, the mid lane goes to top, right? And if you went there, like, if he, if the support went there, like, five seconds earlier, they could have killed the, the, the ADC. Because, like, he has, um, both, he, he has flash the support, so this is a very, like, easy kill, right? This is, like, as easy as it gets. So, yeah, you trade, uh, it could have happened earlier, and maybe, uh, so here you see that the enemy jungler takes the the dragon, right? So you trade towers. This is a pretty standard play. Now I would check if red buff is up and maybe try to take it. I would not use flip to clear the wave like that because you see it's on cooldown now, right? And could have made a play. I would not flip there because you don't know what will happen. And as you see, almost died if the enemies played it better. Could have made a play there. I don't know what this jungler is doing, but anyways. So if you flipped later and maybe flipped the, the jungler, then you have been half health or full. And then you could have taken the red on top of that, right? So here, I guess you're fishing for a kill, but it's not a good idea in my opinion, because there's the enemy jungler who has that vision thing. So, 
anyway. So I'm just checking. It's not much to see, to be honest. Uh, the enemy Maloc Lubu is building tank, bot lane. So I think the bot lane ADC is winning this lane. It's probably good to gank him eventually. So I could have done, you could have walked bot lane, right? But I mean, the team cleans them up anyway because the enemy mage is dumb and the enemy support is also dumb. Hmm, let's see this. So I mean here you could have, I don't know what the jungler is thinking, but I guess you could have held the S1 because you saw that... Um, the support used all of his spells already, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, this item you're buying is pretty good. It gives attack speed, but I don't know if you need it. I feel like you need the support, the shield item this game, because the enemy mage is bursty, and your note, the global ult can stun someone. So, I mean, here you use your S1, but obviously you should have used your S2 to flip the Yorn. <coughs> and then cage him towards that jungle wall. But anyways, yeah, not much to say there. I mean, for those who don't know in general, you should always, if you play support, you should always stick with your mid laner or, the, or your jungler. And ideally, all three of you should be like together and should be roaming together and making plays. So that's like, uh, like if you clear the midway first as you're with your mid laner, then you guys get the priority on roam. That means the river is safe. And if three of you, not bad, but obviously you should S2 first and then flash. And then here you're not looking at the mini map, right? Or you're not looking at the the map. So you should definitely be scrolling your you should definitely be scrolling your finger to see the fight as you walk in. So you were at the pigs, right? And then you don't scroll your hand to check the the river, like how the fight is going on. Anyway, I think uh I think the rest of the game will be pretty straightforward, right? Because it's like a clear stomp. And the reasons for that is that the enemy has a very bad mid. And then the ADC is not playing that well. So it should be pretty clear and cut. So here, I don't know why you didn't flip them. Because there are three people stuck there. And you could have just flipped them and ulted them towards the red buff wall. But anyway... And then your jungler has insane AoE, so he could have just cleaned up everyone. So back to what I was saying, basically this meta, and they're going to push this in every meta to be more and more obvious, is that the jungler mid and uh, support should always be together roaming. Three people together, they go to a lane, and then you become four people, so you can push the... I, I don't know, what's, what is this? Lindis in a bush, interesting. Anyway, yeah, so it's very important to uh, stay with your jungler or mid as a support, no matter what happens. So everyone dies, nothing to do really, oh well. But I think the game is ending soon. I would check the scoreboard at this point because there's nothing... <coughs> <coughs> There's nothing to do. And probably I could have stayed on the left side, right side of that mid bush. Especially in chat when they said they wanted to do dragon. Left side, you know, is safe because you checked there. So could have sneaked in right side. But now it's not safe anymore. Well, it is because you have the trap. But you see, now it's too late. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward. The enemy mage is this bad hero. ADC messes up. The enemy ADC messes up as well. Here, I don't know if you should have flashed. And here, definitely, you, you see you could have scrolled up there to check 
Like you could have killed all of them there if you moved your hand to scroll up on the top to see what's happening. But you didn't because, I don't know, laziness. So if you had scrolled your hand to the ADC, you have realized that he was like 10 health and you could have flipped both of them. And maybe saved your whoever died as well. I would honestly buy the shield item as well this game. I don't know. I don't think... Um, I don't think the item you bought is that good on him, but I'm not really sure. Maybe. Depends. I mean, you want people to attack you, right? Because you take less damage. Wow, you heal a lot of HP in the new patch. So you don't actually have to go back anymore, right? Because you can just spam that instead of going home. I mean, I don't know what this guy is doing. <laughs> he got one shot. Anyways, I think the rest of the game is straightforward. What I would be doing is checking more items, items more often. Yeah. Honestly, guys, if you have any VODs of bad gameplay, I would appreciate that so I can talk more. But this game is pretty straightforward, right? There's not much to say. Like, it's just going to end slowly. And these guys are pretty decent ELO, so they're not going to do anything dumb. They, they're just going to end efficiently. There I would have thought of flipping them, but I, I don't play this hero, so I don't know if that was good. But there's at least two or three people you could have flipped there. Could have been good, I'm not sure. Anyways, you should always, like here you're not scrolling your hand again to top side to see what's going on. So you don't know how these two people died. And maybe you could have saved them if you scrolled your hand to the top. So yeah, I mean your team's just gonna die. Maybe it's not their fault, maybe it's your fault, maybe it's not your fault, it's their fault, but you never know. Anyways, everyone should be retreating as a support that you do the least. So obviously you should be spamming the retreat button if you actually want to win that support. That was very nice. Yeah, I, as I said, the enemy mid and ADC were obviously the, the, the worst players. There, that flip was obviously not very good. <clears throat> but the game is over. I would think about buying more CDR on this hero, I think. I don't know. Because his flip got his CD is longer now, and his flip needs to be shorter. And I would think about. Um, Yeah, I would think about buying the green item. Well, okay. I don't know what happened there. I think you could have helped to auto the Nexus and you could have won. Because you have bonus AD, right, from your passive. Could probably finish the game. So yeah, like I was saying, shorter flip cooldown is obviously very good. So you should look to um so you should look into buying CDR. But I don't know like what gives CDR and it's good on this hero. It's not much, right? Maybe that uh, Shield of the Lost, that blue item. But yeah. I think the rest of the game is just gonna, you know, it's gonna wind down slowly. There's three and a half minutes left. And I guess this video is very low quality, right? Because the guy's phone is not um, too high spec. There I would have, I, I would have stood in front of the, the, the jungler. She should have died like, like 10 seconds ago, but you're just standing mid lane for no reason, right? Anyways, the rest, everyone is just, <laughs> the, enemy, the enemy team is so bad. The rest is straightforward, right? 
I mean, this is pretty badly played. You should have stood outside the guy's alt and then waited. Because you saw, if you saw you had flash coming out in like six seconds by the time the fight started, so you could have been patient and waited for your flash cooldown and then went in. But anyways, oh my god, it's gonna go on. I'm gonna skip. Wait, it stopped. Why did it stop? Sorry guys. Alright, here we go. Yeah, like I said, usually everyone knows how to finish games, right? So it's not... I would have vaulted here earlier. But anyways. Because the, it's the enemy jungler, right? And usually the jungler... It's like always the one who has a lot of farm and he could have stolen Baron as well. So that was like, I would have just blown everything on him. If you one shot the jungler, the game is pretty much over. Anyways, the game ends anyway. So yeah, next time you guys see like bad mids, you know, like this mid, the warrior girl, Azenka, like they're so easy to abuse. Like if you play like, their hero as well so like don't hesitate to like abuse them don't think they're actually good the game is easy like this anyways hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments below or something or send me vods to review that are actually useful like you know where you go 4 and 10 or you know where you do bad things then i can talk about it more but generally i would say for this you have to be looking at the scoreboard more and looking at the mini map more and early game, look for better opportunities because his level 2 and 1 is, is so broken. So yeah, and also a reminder to you guys, like, he did pretty well. He has a very high score, right? But there's obviously many mistakes he made. So don't think that just because you had a very good score that that makes you, you know, like a good player. It doesn't. Always think about the mistakes and what you could have done better. He had a nice KDA, but, you know, still it was... Plenty to improve. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.